now we take you to five things you need to know for today. Newlyweds accused in the death of a groomsman only hours after their ceremony. 22-year-old James Ra is charged with second-degree murder. And his wife, 21-year-old Savannah Collier, is being charged with being an accessory after the fact. Police say Sarah argued with the victim, 29-year-old Terry Taylor Jr. After that wedding, Taylor was hit on East Hamilton near Lewis Street by an SUV driven by the suspect. Taylor d died at the hospital and Sarah is being held with no bond. Republican State Representative Donnie Steele pushing for harsher federal penalties for people who commit ransomware attacks in Michigan. Those attacks are on the rise. We just saw it targeting two health systems in the state this year. Steele says hospitals are forced to pay ransoms in order to protect data. And at the moment, attacks can result five years prison time. Two Nigerian brothers being sentenced today in the case of a sextortion ring causing an Upper Peninsula teen to take his own life, Samuel and Samson Agoshi, pleading guilty to conspiring to sexually ex exploit teenage boys. They've uh, accused of uh, having 17-year-old Jordan DeMay of Marquette send a naked picture of himself and then extorting him. They both face 15 to 30 years in prison. Today's hearing starts at 10. A decision to raise the state minimum wage, raising some concerns for workers at a roundtable this week. They expressed concerns the wage increases could lead to fewer tips and fewer hours. Business owners worry it will mean higher operating costs overall. The state minimum wage set to increase to $12.48 in February, increasing yearly to $15 by 2028. Fantasy lovers, if you're looking for one last chance to enjoy the summer before we get into fall, we have something just for you. Yeah, so check out the Michigan Renaissance Festival. <laughs> TV5 Zone PS goes at the fairgrounds this morning with <laughs> all you can expect. It's been crazy. <laughs> Like Sierra, good morning. I have officially been recruited by our laundry wenches here, Daphne and Cookie. This is their work, of course. <laughs> She's well starched now, yes. just like us. I'm officially part of the festival now. We're getting into character this morning, <laughs> but yeah, ladies, tell me once again a little bit about your act and what we can expect from the two of you at the festival. Well, we do the laundry, so uh, we're also available for marriage, though we drank our dowry. Uh, and we lost the goat. We Sorry lost about the that. goat. That oh. was Maurice. You lost the goat. I yeah. But yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, it's a dirty laundry show. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Mm. A little dirty, but uh, <laughs> full of laundry, so it can be clean. Well, mostly it's dirty. Uh, it's at 12, 2, and 4. Okay. Mm -hmm. They are little comedians. You guys have been cracking me up all morning long. Daphne, remind us once again, how much longer can people stop by and enjoy the festival? For? Well, the festival is going to go on for another four weekends. And the very final weekend, which is the September 27th, 28th, and 29th, is a three-day weekend. So if you don't, uh, if you want to, like, a, a more relaxed experience, the Friday of that okay. three-day weekend, which is the 27th, is a lovely time to come out. But we have four weekends left, and you can get your tickets uh, online at the box office or uh, discount tickets at, where was that? That would be at Kroger and Walgreens and Menards. Yeah. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I mean, besides the Renaissance Festival, you guys do a lot of community work as well. Tell me how you're involved with uh, the area around here. Well, one of our favorite things, I mean, the festival does a lot of charitable, mm -hmm. goodly things for the entire community. But my favorite thing that I'm involved in is for the last 25 years, we've gone out to the two shelters of Flint, the women's and children's shelters of Flint, and we bring like henna artists. You can get henna out here. Henna artists, mm -hmm. face painters, massage therapists, all these things you can get at the fair as well. Yeah. Hair braiders, uh, musicians, magicians, jugglers, and we give them just a lovely party. Yeah. Uh, and we're there and we just we just give them so much fun. Uh, and then we bust out both of those shelters and they get a free day out here. They get to play all the games for free. We give them a catered lunch for free. That's they awesome. have the, all the ladies get a red rose and all the children get to choose between a garland or a wooden shield. Uh, and uh, the idea, I think, is that we are in the business of giving fun, yeah. obviously, and they're in the business of needing a little extra fun. Yeah. So we like to give it to them. Bringing them a little taste of the Renaissance Festival. Yeah, we bring just a little bit of everything. Yeah. So, yeah, and like so we bring food for, we bring out like uh, pizzas and sometimes turkey legs for them as well to the shelters. So it's like, it's like the entire festival shows up at their doorstep and we just have a lovely Love evening that. and play with them. That is awesome. And Cookie, what is this giant contraption here behind us? This is the crow's nest. It's a super fun ride among many of the rides that we have. Is this one of the, this is one of the new rides too. Yeah, it's new this year. Yeah. And there's, right. there's so many, there's human powered rides out here for the kids. There's lots of things 
just for the kids. Uh, there's uh, the, a free children's realm that's like a big playground area that's really lovely. And, and there's fairies in it. There's fairies. So many fairies. Yeah. And they have crafts. They have free crafts. And then there's, uh, oh, there's mermaids. There's live mermaids. You can see live mermaids. And I think there's like a unicorn thing, like an actual it's unicorn. A, it's an alicorn, cousin. What is an alicorn? It's an alicorn. What an is an alicorn? alicorn is a unicorn and a pegasus in one. I think that I've... I only see them when I've been drinking. Well, ladies, we are running out of time. We're going to have to wrap up here. But why don't we climb inside the crow's nest? Let's show them what this is all about. What's the Give you guys a look at some of the human-powered rides you can find here at the Renaissance Festival. But yeah, four more weekends to come out and enjoy it. So check out Holly. Check out Michigan Ren Fest while you can. For now, live in Holly, Lauren Piesco for TV5. We're going to send it back to the studio. <laughs> Beat us up. Wind us up. Let's go. Take it away. Uh, you'll see that there are seatbelts in there. Please buckle Oh, we got seatbelts. Sorry. Hey, let's buckle up. Buckled in. Of course I am. Of course I am go. buckled in. I guess there's a stand in the bed. Oh, wow. Yippee! There we go. <laughs> One, two, three. We are. Oh. Oh.